who's captain of this ship? Looking at her. I. Her. That's right. I, a woman, am captain. Shocking as shit, I know. Need to get to Skellige. Not on this boat, you won't. Pay you well. The islanders live off wonder in the seas. Not willing to risk that. Ever sailed there? Listen. The islanders attack all ships. When they hate someone, Nilfgaard, for instance, they attack him more. But truth be told, not much more. Oh, did me once. Expect they wanted to see if I had captain's bollocks. That spot of fun gave me enough Skellinger for a lifetime. What's it to you? How much would it cost me to hire this ship? The Harmony of Nations ain't for hire. Ship's owners got plans for it. There anyone in Novigrad who'll take me to Skellige? <laughs> you mean anyone here off their gourd? Aye, Wolverston. Goes by the name of Flask. Ask at the Golden Sturgeon. Man's a sheep bugger, like the Skelligers. Sure they get along great. Captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, Captain of the Wolverstone? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me, we're due to sail for our Skellig, carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Here, that enough? sack like a bull's when do we sail not sure you're ready you can barely stand know this stranger captain wolverston never sails sober the sea goes one way wolverston the other makes the rock unbearable so ready to set sail let's go ah, first we must drink to the wind to good fortune to the strength of my Atropos. <clears throat> Anchors away!
Back off, or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of dying. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Hey. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Horn Skellig. There's a wetcha Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. That scorn I hear in your voice. You've good ears. Folks say this witch got Croc wrapped around her finger. Orders everyone about. Word is she's vicious at it. But a hag's a hag. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you'd think she was a beached orca. Fact is, even those who see her for a wench should gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. of power.
little siren den. Gotta ruin it for them. Go!
Go, go. Greetings. Looking to buy? Show me your wares. Hey there.
need not do this, child. I know. But I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Ernie should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Over. This is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates? of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach, dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Come to the wake with me. Gladly. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Snobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Reading my mind again? Hmm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Valley? Somehow Ciri wound up at the castle of the local ruler, a baron, self-proclaimed. This was after she was injured. Injured? Was it serious? Don't think so. Must have recovered because this baron sent her on to Novigrad. Think she was looking for you at the time. These witches Ciri came across, she was lucky to escape them. Witches? Creatures more like. Can't say exactly what they are, but they're dangerous. Very. Also ran into an old friend of ours in Velen, Kira. What on earth is Kira Metz doing in that wasteland? Hiding from witch hunters. Listen, 
She told me an elven mage had been there looking for Ciri. Good. You'll need to tell me more when we have some time. Been to Novigrad. Ciri was there, looking for a way to lift some curse. She's not there anymore. You're certain? Heard it from Dandelion, with no embellishments. Do you know any more about this curse? Not much. Ciri ran into some trouble, never finished what she went there to do. I recovered a phylactery. She was looking for a way to enchant it. I'll look at it later. How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. Ermion's head of the Skellige Circle? Haven't seen him since... Um... Since Ciri was a little girl. I doubt he'll do you any favors, not even for old time's sake. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf! Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I've an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I have something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Sorry to trouble you, but I really have no choice. What is it? Our ship was wrecked against a rocky shore during the last storm. I've lost everything. How am I supposed to help? I haven't even got the coin for the journey home, and with each day's delay, I draw closer to bankruptcy. Mm -hmm. Might have guessed you'd come around to coin. So, need a loan? Or is it just alms you're after? I shall pay you back every last copper, I swear it. You need only call on me at my address in Novigrad. Fine, I'll help you. I visit Novigrad often enough. Might stop by, see how business is going. Thank you. You'll find me in the port district. My name's Johan Bonner. See you later then.
Time for the chisels. Must's got to be worthy of a colon. Listen, Witcher. Got us some weird diablin. You know, drowners. Real problem. The kind your silver sword could most certainly solve. Let me guess. They're tearing your nets, devouring your fish, and attacking the occasional lone boatman or tavern patron who walks home along the shore. Were that the only harm? Terrors in the bay are meaner than on the continent. They hunt come dusk or dawn. They attack fishermen wielding just oars and warriors alike. Sea tosses them up after. Armor shredded, guts devoured. Strange. Any witnesses? Rurik, my apprentice. He was on a boat the Muir Diablin attacked. There's Tove, too. Her man was killed. She lives nearby, up a bit. Sorry, none of it comes to mind. Those who see the beasts, meet him, well, they generally don't come back to dry land alive. Let's talk about my pay first. A bit too modest for my taste. That's just a bit high, Master. That's just a bit high, Master. That's dear, it is. But could be worth it. All right, I'll pay you what you want. I'll take the job. Dealt with drowners many times. It'll soon be over. Got my word on that. River, don't eat so much. Why the spit not? Because if it gets hit in the gut and those herrings get tangled in your entrails, there'll be no hope for you. She all serve our king worthily. Should need a drink too much more yeah. rain again. After the all we came from, east of his table, sing his peace.
Would you like to buy something from the stash? Maybe. Let me see what you got. Let's play cards. Gwent wouldn't be bad. Wait a second. Our body is pink. Our banner is a traitor. 
I want to fight. Run. Tell me when you're ready. Tournament rules. What are they? The fighters are both upstarts seeking to prove their grit and brawn and courage, and old hands just looking to keep the rust at bay. You get similar bouts in Novograd and Venom, but those are glorified tavern brawls, you ask me. This here's a minor festival. Ready to fight any time, even now. Like to have some words with the Outlander first? It's about my Erica. See her? I... I gotta win today. She's watching. I don't stand a chance against you. I know it well. But I was thinking, maybe you'd let me win. Listen, if I lose on purpose, we'll both regret it. Believe me. But it's Erica we're talking about. You don't understand a thing. Enough of this chatter. Fight! By the rates of Morhawk, take together! By the rates of Morhawk! You're good. Real good. Didn't even break a sweat. Foreigner, what's your step? Where the bandits had lurked. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and luxury. Gooseberries, even with the lid on, taste hasn't changed. Hmm, the stuffed unicorn. She fixed it. No idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white. Scope? Guess she never goes anywhere without it. As Philippa Eilhart said, megascopes and toothbrushes, deeply personal possessions.
Kemdal watches over Clan Tweersech, the blood of kings. Greetings. I'm Geralt. The Witcher known as the White Wolf, I know. They tell stories about you every day around here. Looking for an open seat at the table? I'll be fine. Just wanted to talk. <laughs> Gotta say, I like the place. I should hope so. Found it a rune when I came here from Unvik. Gulls shitting into the tankards through the gaps in the thatch. I bought the hut, rolled up my sleeves, and made a proper alehouse out of it. Why'd you call it the new port? Hunted Yudi. Owned the old port on Unvik. Few may former customers come here evenings to reminisce about the old times. What smells so delicious? in the mood for Gwent.
need help? This wall and loot was so ample, they had to toss some into the sea. Friends will show heart, foes will show heart. Something I'd ever wear. But what don't we do for her? Hmm. Who exactly is she to me? a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me, but on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my pension for long conversations. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. Funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. Yes. That caught a turn. So, what 
have you brought for the farewell feast? Brad, Geralt, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. I wanted to meet the notorious witcher, Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates and learn me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. of Jarls, exclusively. Ceres on Crate is the daughter of a Jarl, Geralt. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely not. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you in? If the Witcher is in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. By hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's.
see the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a witcher, Sparrowhawk. It would likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. I have no mind for it. What do you know? I. Cross the way, me, boss. Why are you sending your vermin to me? Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a Witcher. Geralt, Jarl Dona and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha ha ha! Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs, but Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Calm down, Lugos. No wench should teach me how to fight. That was not my intention. Come, Geralt. I believe this discussion's run its course. Pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. Take it Ermion won't be there. That's right. And what's the purpose of this visit? We're looking for an object. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. The jackdaws do. Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble and cranes whoop. Brass peacocks screech. Hawks scream. Larks trill and doves they coo. That's all of them. Mm. What about nightingales? All right, nightingales croon. <laughs> this will be tough to open. 
surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Hermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Seen uglier sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. Hobby can render a man mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Had one at Care More. <laughs> Please. Looks alive. an arrow if you saw that in the woods. A basin of water? For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. They're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. They're coming closer. They're everywhere. That's one less. You ran at Ermion's animals. Sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Care Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear 
the druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The mask of Urboros must be here. Wondrous world of insectoids. Rit Letter bearing Ermian's seal to the druids warns them about you. Brazen manipulator. Ermion has real tobacco brought in. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraiths sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Dwarven triple mead. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial Alchemist. A goat carved out of Lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jest. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. A sword and a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Geralt, come here! I found my- Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. A child's skull. It. We must return to the feast quickly before. That's that. It's a trap.
Hear that? Smell it. Gas. Grate still closed. Gotta think of something quick. The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. Wait. For what? We must talk to Krak. Why? Think he misses us? Because I missed you. When are you going to finally burn this piece of junk? My heart couldn't take it. So many memories. Damn it, Geralt. Do you have any idea how much they cost? Come here. We gotta hurry. Croc's waiting. Is that so? I know you. I let go, you throw us off. <laughs> Don't even try. My, oh my. Missed you. I missed you too. We ought to get back to the wake. I must dress. Turn around. Crack and creature asked about you. We went out, for a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. Now heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. We'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond, and must now choose his successor. The king must be wise. The king must command respect. The king must have bollocks. With no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth.
My son could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. May the best man, a woman, win! What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'll sail to speak her of. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and the Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, Merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea goes white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Magic anomaly on Ord Skellig somehow related to Ciri. Or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion, but I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms. Bright unnatural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing, which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages, but Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. If any ill befell her here, an arch skellic on my watch, I'd never forgive myself. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvald! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well... He swore an oath to kill the giant of Unthik, set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. for the crown yourself? I think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. 
The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Artsgeled. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. That's true. At any rate, Yalmor decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oska, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes. I ask that you explain things to her, and bring her back. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. And now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later.